So we are continuing with question 41 of May 2019 paper 1. And now we are on finding the intercortical range of the marks scored by 20 or by the 200 students. So you look for the previous video and you check the question 40 from that one so the interquartal range will correspond to the third quartal third quartal minus the first quartal so the third quartal we find it is three fourth of the total frequency which is 200 three fourth of the total frequency which is 200 minus the one fourth of the total frequency. So this this is the first quarter. This is the first quarter Q1. This is Q1 and this is Q3. So the difference will give us the interquartile range. So we know the fourth of this will give us the 150th value and minus the 50th value. So the 50th value we trace from here, you know. The 50 is on this line, so 50 value trace from here and trace downwards, and that will correspond to 30. 30, as you can see, then the 150 value will correspond to 42.5. That is, we trace the 150 value will be here, over here. So, you know, each of these value is 4. So, 4, 4, so this would be 1. 40 144 148 half of these give us the 150 so we trace the 150 to this and down and that to correspond to 42.5 and 42.5 minus 30 will give us 12.5 therefore the interquartile range is 12.5 let's proceed to question 42 if 130 if 38 percent of the students pass the test what was the pass mark so 38 percent of the students pass the test meaning that the 62 percent are below the pass mark so we trace 62 percent over here so we need to calculate 62 percent of 200 which is the total frequency so 62 over 100 times 200 will give us 124th value so we know that each of these boxes is 4 so on from 120 we move only one box then we trace to the cumulative frequency and trace downwards and that will give us the 40 mark so the pass mark is 40 now let's proceed to question question 43 the following table shows the frequency of scores obtained by students in the test. So these are the scores and these are the frequencies. The range of the score is so the range is the highest value minus the least value. So the least value that is the least score is 2 and the highest score is 10 so the difference will be 10 minus 2 and that will give us 8 so the correct answer is C now we continue to the next question which is question 44 so question 44 item 44 refers to the following two-way table which shows the mode of transportation to school on a particular day for a group of 200 students. A male student is picked at random from the group. What is the probability that he does not walk to school on that day? So, he's a male student and the number of those who... If you don't walk to school, it means he either took a bus or a taxi and the total of the male is 108 
Therefore, if the student does not walk to school, then he either took a bus or a taxi. Therefore, the probability of taking a bus, we have 30, 30 out of the total of May, which is 108. Then the probability of taking a taxi is 50 out of 108. Now, the probability of taking a bus or a taxi, which is corresponding to not walking to school, will be equal to the addition of this. So we add the two to get 80 over 108, and this will be simplified to get 20 over 37. Yeah, the correct answer is C. Now let's look at the question 45. Which of the following represent the graph of a function? So for a, a graph to be a function, like the graph of a function must pass the vertical line test. So it means that if you draw any vertical line across the graph, it must intersect the graph at one and only one point. So let's draw vertical lines across these particular graphs and see. You can see that the, this graph failed the test, but it have two points over here. And this one too is failed because it have two points. Even though this one pass, all lines must pass. Any line on the graph must pass. This failed. This failed. We can see that for this, all of them pass. The graph did not intersect the vertical line at more than one point. So this is the graph of a function. The correct answer is A. Then let's go to number 46. If f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 1, then f of negative 3. So to do that, we just substitute. We place x with negative 3, wherever we see x. So f of negative 3 will be equal to 2 times negative 3, all squared. And you know negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3, which is equal to 9. 2 times 9 will be what? Will be 18. 18 minus 1 will give us what? 17. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Now let's look at question 47. Question 47. So it's the same thing now. So question 47. Item 47 refers to the following graph of a straight line. The line AB cuts the Y axis at. So the Y axis is this line. It is the straight line. It will cut the Y axis at this point. And the coordinate of those points is 0, negative 2. Note that the value of x on the y axis is always zero therefore this will be the correct answer so let's proceed to question 48 the equation of the line which passes through the point 0 5 and has a, a gradient of 4 is so we know a straight line has the equation in slope intercept form y equal mx plus c all these are given in the slope intercept form so we know m is the slope or the gradient and y intercept is 0 c this c is the y intercept over here so from the question we are given the slope to be 4 and the y intercept to be 5 so we just substitute into this formula and you get y equal 4x plus 5 hence the correct answer is this now let's look at 49 the range of this mapping f is such that x maps onto x cube for the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 is. So to find the range, this is the mapping given to us. We can rewrite this as a function. So the corresponding function is f of x equal x cube. Now we plug in each value of the domain. To find the corresponding value of the range so we plug in into this function x cube, x cube. so negative 2 we'll go for negative 2 cube negative 1 we'll go to negative 1 cube and so on and so forth now let's simplify this negative 2 cube will give us negative 8 then negative 1 cube will give us negative 1 
0 cube is 0, then 1 cube is 1, then 2 cube is 8. Hence, the range will be negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, then 8. So, this is corresponding to this. Now, let's move on to number 50. Items 50 to 51 refer to the following graph of a function. The value of x for which y equals 4 x minus x squared intersect y equals 0. Uh, so y equals 0 is this line, the x axis. So where the graph intersects this y x axis is at 0, x equals 0, and x equals 4. So you can also solve the equation. Equation y equals 0, put 4 x minus x squared in space of y and solve. But that will take your time. So just look at the graph and take your answer which is x equals 0 or x equals 4. Now, let's proceed to our next question, which is, will be done in the next video. So do not forget to subscribe and also subscribe to my second channel. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.